hey guys welcome back to another video here so in this video oh ho, ho. <laughs> we have here an iphone 4s on its slowest operating system ios 9 and today i'm gonna show you guys how to actually jailbreak ios 9 in 2022 not only 4s but all device 32-bit device that runs on ios 9 so you have an iphone 5 an ipad 2 3 an ipad touch fifth generation and it's running 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 you can follow along you can follow along with this journey and to jailbreak your iOS 9 device. Okay, so I mean you already basically know news app and the slowness is running iOS 9. I don't, I don't have to show you about page am I? <laughs> because if I slow this iPhone on iOS 9, Apple. Alright, so there's two parts of this video. One is for Mac and one is for Windows. I cannot find a no PC or no computer method. I mean there it is but like the certificates that you know sometimes they work sometimes they expire so i'm going to show you guys the one that will work which is a computer method okay so mac and pc let's go to the video all right guys so the tools that we're going to use in this video is side loady so side loady is basically like cd impactor back in the day see if you guys remember that but the problem is cd impactor requires us to have an apple paid i mean a paid apple developer account so you guys to sign your ipa while with side Lodi, you can use a normal Apple ID or a free Apple ID to sign your IPA. So that's a plus right there. So yes, I will put the link of side Lodi in the description down below. And once you do that, you're gonna scroll down until you see there, Mac OS downloads, compatible of course with all the M1 chip, well except the M1 Ultra right now. Then we're gonna go into Phoenix to download our Phoenix jailbreak, the IPA or the application that we're gonna use to jailbreak our iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 32-bit device. Okay, once side loady and the uh, Phoenix jailbreak IPA is downloaded, we're gonna plug in our device here. Okay, so once you uh, install side loady for the first time, it will probably say that this app can open because something I forgot. So the way to bypass that is gonna go to your applications folder here. Click on side loady and right click and hit open. All right, now once you open it up, and we'll just open up just fine once you open it up next time, okay? Okay, now once that load is open, we'll go ahead and drag our Phoenix IPA here. Drag them like so. Okay, on the Apple account tab, you're gonna type in your Apple ID email. They are not device, make sure the device is detected. And once all of those good to go, hit on start. Okay, now at here, at the first time, you probably asked to enter your Apple ID passwords. Just enter them like normal because this data it will not share to anyone, you know, so your Apple ID is secure, but again, I still advise you guys to get a second backup Apple ID to use with side loading. Okay, I'm stuck in here at obtaining team ID. Let's just quit that and then try that again. All right, guys, so there's the Phoenix apps. Let's trust the profiles here, like the usual setting, general, scroll down, device management, Developer app, trust your uh, email here and trust and go back and there you go. All right, now we can open up the app, Phoenix. Let's click on prepare for jailbreak. You click on accept and you click on this little thing right here, set proceed with jailbreak and then you click begin installation and your phone should be jailbroken. Now, I'm gonna actually delete the app again because I'm gonna show you guys the Windows version. So let me delete the app. Delete. All right, so let's go to the Windows version. Okay, so for Windows users, I actually have two options for you guys, and one is using 3U tools. So the tools, I think everybody know these tools called 3U tools, all right? Basically, one-stop shopping for anything that you do for your device. So once you plug in your phone, all you have to do is click in here, jailbreak or no, and then you click jailbreak now, it will download all the tools and open this up. So you can immediately jailbreak like this. You can click on Phoenix here and hit start jailbreak and everything once gonna be good to go but i don't really recommend you guys to use 3u tools because 3u tools actually sign the ipa and 3u tools actually download the ipa from their own servers so we don't actually know if the ipa that the 3u tools uh, downloaded is actually uh phoenix or is it quote unquote phoenix you know we don't know again we don't know because uh they download it from their own servers and they sign their own IPA. So I'm not so sure about that, but if you guys want to go through the easy route, the fastest route, 
you guys can use 3U tools, okay? But I'm gonna show you guys a way that I prefer more than using 3U tools, and that is using side loady. So yeah, I prefer using side loady much better than using 3U tools because with side loady, it's like you sign your own IPA, so it's using your Apple ID, that's A, and B, you know exactly where your IPA is downloaded, so you, you know, you download it exactly from Phoenix, okay, let me click download here because I haven't downloaded from this device yet, you know exactly where you download the IPA, so with 3U tools, you know, I don't know where they get the IPA, maybe they customize it or something, again, I just being a paranoid, they have Windows security deposit this is threat, that's great, so yeah, I'm not too sure where they get the IPAs and all these things, so my advice just to stick to using site Lodi and download the IPA from the actual Phoenix website, so you know where the IPA where exactly the IPA is. It might be the same thing with Phoenix, but again, it just be being paranoid, all right? You guys can use it up. You can use, you guys can use 3U tools, all right? Okay, so we got that virus warning from Windows Security. What should we do? Okay, well, we're gonna start and we'll go on Windows Security, all right? We're gonna go ahead and disable our antivirus. I can find where it is, there it is. We're gonna go on virus attack protection, click on manage settings here. Once Phoenix downloaded, you go ahead and go down and download side loader here. Choose your own Windows here, 32 bit or 64 bit. Or they have mine one installed. Okay, now we're gonna open up side loader here. Side loader. All right. Then we're gonna drag our Phoenix IPA to side loader, just like so. And then type in your Apple ID on the Apple account tab right there. Okay, hit on start. It asks you for your passwords. Just type it in right away. Okay, there's the Phoenix app again. We're gonna go ahead and trust it. Just tap on the Mac here, settings, go down general, device management, tap on the developer app, and trust your Apple ID right here. All right, now let's jailbreak the phone here. Click it on Phoenix. Yeah, prepare for jailbreak. Hit on set, hit on dismiss. Hit that little teeny tiny procedure jailbreak button right there. All right, and hit begin installation. Now, we're gonna hit on begin installation here, and you will see when we're gonna get this pop-up to open up. All right, now, if you click on use provided offset, Sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't work. So my advice, if it won't work, you see that uh, preparing for offset thingy, just leave it on there for like 30 -ish seconds and then you can tap it again if you guys have some problems, right? But you can see, mine works immediately just fine. So if you guys have that problem, just leave it on that um, use preferred offset page for like 30 -ish seconds. And once 30 -ish seconds uh, pass, you tap on that uh, use provided offset and it should work. All right, the phone finally booted. It is so slow in iOS 9, oh boy. All right, and there we go. Now you guys can have Cydia. Now you guys can install any tweaks that you want. Downgrade to iOS 8 because that's much better operating system than iOS 9, I'm just saying that. And do anything you want with your jailbroken 32-bit iOS 9.3.5 to 9.3.6 and Cydia take forever to load, holy wow. And it crashed, so open up again. Okay, now it works. Yes. All right, so that's how you jailbreak your iOS 9 device. All right, 9.3.5, 9.3.6, your 32 bit, A5, maybe you have an iPhone 5 or other 9.3.5 device. You can use the same method to jailbreak your iOS 9 device. So, do anything that you want now. Now, all you have to do is hit a complete upgrade and update all these things, boys and girls. All right, now, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.